and Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rachel Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also to you women and children, keep on enduring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is very near. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh meaning he, exi he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is his beloved son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahweh Shai meaning he saves or he delivers. Rechakwadash is spirit holy. Pronounced in English as Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. I'm your brother Bashar, and I'm just going to be going through a quick uh, breakdown of Daniel, the second chapter. I'm going to be starting at the 26th verse. Now, throughout the video, I'm going to be pausing and playing the video um, while I, you know, break down the uh, particular points that need to be broken down. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to start. The king answered and said to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, Art thou able to make known unto me the dream which I have seen, and the interpretation thereof? Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, The secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets, and maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days. Thy dream and the visions of thy head upon my bed are these. As for thee, O king, thy thoughts came into thy mind upon my bed what should come to pass hereafter. And he that revealeth secrets maketh known to thee what shall come to pass. But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any living, but for their sakes that shall make known the interpretation to the king, and that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold, a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thigh. All right, so the head of gold is the uh, ancient Babylonian Empire. Now, the uh, breast and arms of silver are the Persian Empire. Is the Persian Empire. Now, um, the belly and thighs are of brass are the Greeks okay now at this current time ancient Babylon the Empire was standing when this was uh, taking place now the kingdom that would come after would be the Persian Empire okay the Persians today would be considered the uh, um, the people of Iran. Um, now, who took down the Persian Empire? The Greeks. Okay. Um, and uh, what came after the Greeks was uh, the Roman Empire. And those are the legs of iron. Just continue playing. Eyes of brass, his legs of iron, his feet, part of iron, and part of clay. All right, the legs of iron is the Roman Empire. Now, the feet is the revised Roman Empire. Okay, the revived Roman Empire. Okay, which includes the uh, ten toes which we'll get into which is mentioned later on in the chapter 
but we're gonna break it down right now uh, the uh, ten toes are synonymous with the ten horns written in the book of Revelation the 17th chapter okay now the ten horns and the ten toes are the EU okay formerly known as the ECC the EU is the European Union the EEC it used to be called the EEC was uh was uh it was it was acronym for the European Economic Union okay now this was developed around the uh late 1950s okay or mid mid to late nine 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 nineteen fifties and um And this includes uh, 10 European kingdoms, okay, which is uh, Spain and Portugal. Now, Spain and Portugal are considered one. There's really 12, but Spain and Portugal are considered one, and the UK and Ireland are considered one, okay? Now, when we mention the rest, It'll make up 10, okay, which make up the 10 horns, okay? So, there's Spain and Portugal. Again, they are one. The UK and Ireland are one. France, Luxembourg, Greece, Denmark, Italy, the Netherlands, Belgium, and West Germany. Okay, this consists of the ten toes, and again, the ten toes are synonymous with the ten horns. Okay, so these are the ten horns and the ten toes. Okay, so let's continue on. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and break them to pieces. Now this stone is Yahawashai, okay, Yahawashai and, and the elect. Um, first and foremost, it, it, you know, Yahawashai being at the forefront um, of the elect. So, let's continue on. So, okay, so the stone you know broke the image now this is a future prophecy so with that being said this image is still standing these kingdoms are still in are still in power they still exist okay so when the lord comes back um he's gonna destroy these other kingdoms okay Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. The In other words, there's no coming back for them. You know, where, you know, where it mentions that they're like, that they're like chaff of the summer threshing, thr 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 threshing floor. And the, and the wind carried them away. Okay, so... There's no coming back from them. They're never going to get back into, into power. They're going to be destroyed for good. Okay. These kingdoms are going to be destroyed for good. Stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Okay. Now this stone that became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This is talking about um, the kingdom of heaven being established. The government of the kingdom of heaven being established okay because you know mountains represent governments okay so this great mountain that's gonna fill the whole earth is the government of 
of uh, of Israel, okay, being established on on earth. Now, that is the uh, also the fulfillment of of Second uh, Samuel the seventh chapter, the sixteenth verse, where it speaks about um, the kingdom of Solomon's being established forever. Okay. Um, the, 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 um, the, 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 the throne of Solomon's, um, is going to be established forever. Let me, let me just get it real quick. It's second Samuel chapter seven, verse 16. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. Okay, so this is talking about Solomon's kingdom. Now, we know Solomon's kingdom wasn't established forever, but this is a future prophecy. Why? Because Yahushai is King Solomon in the reincarnation. Okay. And, you know, Yahushai, a.k.a. Solomon, will be, his kingdom will be established. And this is, you know, this is mentioned, this is a precept to it, okay, for those of you who can receive it. Um, continuing on. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou, O king, art a king of kings, for the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field and the powers of the heaven, hath he given into thine hand, and hath made thee ruler over them all. Thou art this head of gold. And after thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee, and another third kingdom of brass, which shall bear rule over all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. And as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and... Okay, so that, we just we just broke that down. You know, the, 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 that, that's already broken down. Um, you know, the gold, the silver, the brass, and the iron. That's already broken down. Okay, let's, let's get to this right here, where it says, uh, chapter 40, uh, verse 41. Goes part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. But there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom. Now, the the, the toes that were part of iron and part of clay, that it, that means that you know there are some European countries that are uh or, or european kingdoms that are that are strong but some of them are weak okay shall be partly strong and partly broken and whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but they shall not cleave one to another even as iron is not mixed with clay and in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not... So like, yeah, that's the fulfillment of Second Samuel 7, chapter the 16th verse. Okay. Where it says, And in the days of these kings shall the, the God of heaven set up a kingdom. Now, wh whose kingdom is that? That's the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Also known as the king of which Yahweh Shai is also known as Solomon. Okay. Well, Yahweh Shai is the reincarnation of Solomon. Alright. Continue on. Be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain, 
and the interpretation thereof sure. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors unto him. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your God is a God of gods and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets. All right, so with that, uh, I'm going to end it right there. You know, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was, was edified. You know, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who, who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also unto you women and children, keep on enduring. Because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. Okay. Lord willing, your brothers and sisters was edified. Till next time, shalom.